Hello everybody, welcome back to Out of Plays, Minecraft Block 2. I have done the off-camera thing that I said I would, which is to go onto my uh, creative world and check that all these things that we're going to do will work, and they will. Now, I had a little bit of a play around, and for some weird reason, the first time I tried it, it refused to work, which made me believe that it was not going to work. Um, and then I picked everything up and put it all back down again, and it started working. And uh, a couple of things on the internet made me worry slightly, but actually it might not be a problem. The, um, do you remember we put these crystals under here? It should be under here somewhere, there's this one. Um, the internet suggests, possibly incorrectly, that you, you have to put those um, at the same level as the dirt. But it does say two blocks up or down, and this one's five and this one's ten. Um, uh, it's possible that this is an older version that the internet was talking about, where it works only one block up or down, which means you have to put them next to your farm or in the middle like you would do with a water block. But no, it says two blocks, so I'm going to assume that those are currently affecting these. Um, on the other hand, they do look nice. <laughs> and I, I guess I really don't see why we should hide them underground if they don't need to be hidden underground. It does give us one extra uh, block of working working area, like the, the farm can have one more block of stuff in it. But it also works in a 9x9 nine nine farm. Right? So we have a 5x5 five five farm, which gives us a lot of leeway to, ha to put them basically wherever we want. So we don't actually have to give up any farm space. Uh, really in order to use them at all, because if I put one here do it'd be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and one is actually eleven, so it'd probably work up to here. We would have to give up a little bit. I'm not sure I care. Um the other thing is we can put them here. Right. So this is not gonna affect everything perfectly. The other thing I noticed is that when I tried to use the fertilizer, it didn't work. But I didn't try it again. After I failed, after I managed to get these working, so it's again, I don't really know. So these things should be affecting these, and these don't. Uh, the more of these you have, in theory, the more they stack, but um, the effect of these ones are quite low. You can actually make another tier of them, but we do require nether styles to do so. And we haven't got there yet, because we're going to have to go start killing the nether itself, which is not something uh, the nether. Killing the wither, which means we have to create a wither because we can't get to the nether. And it's all going to be a little bit difficult and annoying and awkward, so we'll do that later. Um, let's go back downstairs now, then, four, and also, etc. Because now we want to start making the industrial foregoing machinery industrial foregoing. So, I realise that you need the plant sower. When the plant picker, the gatherer, um, gatherers the plants, it doesn't do the thing that... It can do, which is to right-click on the, uh, the the plant and pick up the crops from it without breaking it. It just breaks it. It's kind of pesky. So it means that you need to put um, a plant sower underneath. I think I'm okay with this, <laughs> right? I mean, the other the alternative is to surround your farm with things that right-click for you. Uh, and then do even more annoying stuff. You have to surround it with them. You can't just use one. So I would rather have two machines that work in tandem than like 10 machines that are all necessary all the time. So we will see how much... Uh, uh, plant gatherer. Shush. Telephone. We're going to want a stone gear. One, two. Mm. Guess we'll make more stone. Why don't we teach it how to make stone? Um, it's going to be a not crafting pattern. It's going to be a cooking pattern. One of those means one of those. Write the pattern down. Then we'll go downstairs, put it in. We taught you... So we need another interface here. That's the trouble. We don't currently have a way of cooking things. We only have a way of pulverizing things. It's kind of a problem because this has three of eight channels. Well, how are we doing for channels in this direction? Please stand on the there we go. Still three of eight over here. That's fine. We could make another interface without too much trouble. So let's do that. Um, and then we can stop using that translocator that's over there. Please run. There we go. I kept pressing shift instead of control. At least I don't have to double tap anymore. Do you remember those days? Getting confused between double tapping and 
um, in, in Minecraft and double tapping in Unreal Tournament. Oh yeah, we have to ask you to make one of those. Oh my. Please make one of these. Doesn't you do that? Yeah, you know you make two. Uh, this might take a while. Meanwhile, we need to go over there and make sure we've got the infrastructure. Um, we did. Oh, green mess, there we go. We did manage to bring this up all the way over here. I'm kind of thinking that it might have been quicker to just go this way, but I don't want to interfere with the the actual numbers of channels that we've got. I want things in the right direction. At some point, that'll be less of a problem, especially if we have another ME controller. Because what we could do is we could put a controller over here, which I think will take just one channel between that one and that one. We should experiment with that. But not right now, because we're waiting for stuff. It's going to take ages because everything's so slow. <laughs> um, the other thing we could actually look at is how much does it cost to have an acceleration card? This one, which is an advanced card, which is not incredibly expensive, depending on how many diamonds we've got. Nine. Eh, it might be incredibly expensive. Diamonds is something we're going to want to start growing. Alternative to growing things with crops, by the way, we can grow things with chickens. And that's another thing we do want to look at. We have got a couple of chickens here and there to, to help us with that. But that's going to be really slow as well. So we've got a long way to go before we're going to have a, a steady income of, uh, of resources, which is what we really wanted. Um, so for now, let's just get the thing going that we wanted to get going. This one, this one, this one. Yeah. And at least we can jump around the place without having to walk too far, huh? 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 Like this. Why is that such a tough device? We don't have to put another one of these here because that will connect to that, which is great and grand and gradely. And then put this in here. And now you know that if you cook a stone, you will get. Well, if you cook uh, the, the one stone, you get the other stone. So let's cook some stone. Stone, please. And we will put one in a. Uh, let's make 128. Sure, go. Start. If I do this, it should know that it got one. So now it should be asking to craft 127. Oh no. Okay, we're doing it. We really, really need to start upgrading these things. Uh, this is slow as all heck. Why didn't you receive? Uh, oh, hey, hey, hang on. Uh, config. Top will be input and output. There we go. Yes, that seems to be working. Uh, we did. I did discover that we had a Signalum upgrade whilst I was playing around. I can't remember if that was on camera or not. Um, but a Signalum upgrade is good for us. Uh, it's a conversion kit. And Signalum, I think, is the strongest. No, it's the second one. Actually, that's exactly what we want. So let's take the Signalum kit, bring it down here. And if we put this on this, bang. There we go. Now this has augmentation slots. We can put speed upgrades in here, which is something we're going to be good at. But uh, if you put speed upgrades in, then your energy use goes up. That was filling up, by the way, because by putting the signal and upgrade in, we increased the capacity of it. But we didn't increase the use of it. Um, upgrade uh, aug augmentation um, from his thermal expansion. Uh, auxiliary transmission coil will increase output and then the other one which is the auxiliary thingy coil oh, these all look different it's very difficult to figure out what's going on um transmission coil Oops, this one this one nope auxiliary reception coil this one uh, in that case, let's make these. If we make two of these, and then that's good. and that'll help with the thingy. But we also would like ah every time thermal uh... I don't know which one it is, which will increase. See, um, the, the ones that have a different color are actually, they specialize uh, a machine to do something slightly different from what they would normally do. So for example, redstone furnace specialization, get additional output when smelting ores, but only ores can be processed, which is not what we want, but that's an example. Um, the, the white ones, reagent recovery, 
engines require per operation. Uh, one of these increases, there we go, fuel catalyzer. More and no. Fuel ducting, balance. Nope. There we go. One of them increases the. Hmm. I thought there was one that improves the energy efficiency of the machine. That way it started, right? Yeah. I don't know. Let's go and put these two in and see what we end up with. I'll double check that. Bit of an issue. But if we put these in here, this will start going faster. But note that it will. This is maximum power usage. Uh, it doesn't seem to be taking more than we're creating, which is actually really good. I was actually expecting it to. Um, th Honestly, the way to get more speed upgrades in there is to provide more power. Um, auxiliary. I'll make another one. Make a third one. Then this will go nice and quickly. And then when we want that much stone again in future, we can have it. I really wish I didn't have to keep stepping on this thing. Go. We can go back. What were we doing? Um, there we go. We've, we've, we've maxed out our power. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. So, what's happening here? You three things are not keeping up. That is correct. Are you keeping up? Yes, just about. So another one of these would be fine. If you cancel... Well, this operation won't take much longer to finish. In fact, it has finished. So this should be back online anytime soon. Ah, fair enough. Um, this is why I had things in the stacks, because if ever we manage to ruin our power supply, we can at least get the majority of the stuff out of the thing. If we started digitizing everything, we would have to use this to get them back. Um, oh, why? But you're not doing anything over there. Look, you're full. Not full. Hurry up. <laughs> right. So you should now be able to start filling up these. But these are saturating again, which means that has enough energy, which means that's switched on. Grand. Flipping heck. Is it really that difficult? Flipping heck. We were... We were what? So we were making our um, industrial foregoing machines. We wanted gatherer. We wanted a gold gear. So we wanted stone gear, which for some reason has to be made out of proper stone and not bad stone. Let's make four of those because we're probably going to want more. Uh, two gold gears, please. One, two. Gold. This is why we're automating everything, but we haven't done it yet. See, this This is Ethereum seeds, which I might as well keep harvesting these while I'm here so that we can just keep doing this. Um, but we want gold over here. We should be getting some gold occasionally from our mob farm, but our mob farm, noticed, not switched on. I could probably get away with doing this right now, actually. Another thing we should probably think about doing is what's happening here your fault why are you not picking stuff up i'm also not really a fan of this i'm gonna get rid of these because they're bad <laughs> and ruin stuff i have a plan for how to improve this area so we are not going to need quiet goodness sake those things at all. So, I got rid of them. More. All right. Uh, I have a plan to fix this place up so that we can get the enemies going without having to deal with the sound of Enderman. Or indeed, um, the horrible sound of things just spawning at random in the walls, which is not much fun. I don't really like it when that happens very much. Very much, very much. It's in theorem here as well. We can import that back into the system. Because we've got it in two positions, and that seems like a bad idea. Uh, how are you doing? Get rid of this. Now, because I don't care about a little bit of stone, there's a lot of gold to be dealt with. Right. Right, said Fred. Save a little dance for Charlie. That's the word, right? Tell me about Charlie. Pretty sure that's literally a person called Charlie and not a, an allusion to illicit narcotics. You never know. Prismarine shards are actually going to help us because Prismarine was necessary. The growth crystal tier 2, I believe. 
um, no, it's a sea lantern. So growth tier, uh, tier one, growth crystal tier one. We could probably make quite easily. It's just bone blocks, sea lanterns, potion of swiftness, which is makeable, and then uh, but iron. So that's that's fine. We can deal with that. Go over to the mob farm. Get our blocks of gold. Remember, we can always turn this around if we uh, really want to empty the gold back into the uh, and get the most out of our yield there. But at some point, this is going to start working out in our favor, I promise you. Right, let's turn this into this and put this in here, and then we will continue what we were doing, which is to make two gold gears. One, two. And then we're going to make this, which is going to be an iron axe to them. Fair enough. And we've got plastic. There. And the middle bit, which is a machine case, which is just a block of redstone that we don't have yet. Doop, doop. Mm -hmm. doop, 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 doop. Pardon me. Redstone, please. Probably going to need a couple of these, so I'll get a few. I threw them on the ground. Where did they go? I throw them down here. <laughs> You're not funny, game. Okay? No one's laughing. Okay? Uh, this mob stuff should actually go into the stuff over there now that I've hooked everything up, so that's really nice. Um, You can go away. You seem useful, but I'm not going to use you right now. You can go away. Uh, this is all hunky dory. Great. Grand. Cool. Um, uh, Plant gatherer. Do. I haven't watched a good film in ages. Do you know what? I have. I watched Detective Pikachu the other day. I said that in really dismissive tone, but I didn't mean it to be so. Um, I, I thought it was fine, actually. It, it was a children's film, children's movie. By all, by all means, consider it a children's movie, which it was, because it's about... A, Pokemon. It's about animation and characters and videos and video game film. <laughs> what do you want from me? Um, but it was it was a good one, that's for sure. The other reason we could put these over here rather than there is that the plant gather the plant sower needs to be over here. So let's go and make one of those as well since we need it. Uh, be sower. The ages to find this. Who calls it a sower? Simple machine chassis, steel casing, or the one we can make. In case. And then, I wonder why those ones are different. Uh, did we make, we didn't, uh, made more gold gears because he was me assuming that everything was as difficult as everything else. Pistons, who makes a, a flower pot? <laughs> uh, and this is brick, which is clay. Have we got any clay? Clay Aitkins. Yes. Can we... Just three. Get it over and done with. Now, note that when we put these in here, it will immediately get sucked back into the system. It won't take very long to do so. And hopefully, the system won't switch off whilst it's happening. Uh, the plant sower. Plant sower. By the time I typed it, it was done. It's nice having the speed upgrade available to us. Where did my machine go? Oh, right, that's not all dictionary. It's not in the. Right, there we go. Do, do, do. Very good. We'll put this underneath. The problem with putting this underneath, because it, it has to go underneath, so the problem with it is that it's a problem. First of all, I'm not quite sure where the middle is. <laughs> um, I kind of want it to be underneath that, to be fair, because I'm going to put a range upgrade into it. I should be able to see where that is based on this. Put that there. Uh, we need to get power down there. And running power vertically is kind of obnoxious, <laughs> basically. That is my main objection to it. Uh, yes, we should be at this level. We also need to get not power, but items into it. So, let's just dig out some area. Honestly, we should have a basement. Everything should have a basement, in my opinion. But right now, it's not really an option because I can't be bothered. Fundamentally, it's because I can't be bothered. Um, and then we can draw the power down here. Oh, and I'm going to need that square, but Bear with, bear with. Oh, I thought that was a creeper. Brain just decided that it was some sort of glowstone-coloured creeper. 
it was sugar cane. Of all things, who uses sugar cane in this day and age? Huh? Let's get these. Excuse me. What have I done wrong? I've done this place. Oop, 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 oop. And some power for you. Ta-da! Right, this thing is going to sow plants in this order. So each of these colours represents a different zone in the upstairs. In, in sort of that arrangement. I'm not quite sure which direction it's pointing in, but it kind of doesn't matter. Because all we're going to do is just shove them back in. Any sort of old house, see what happens. The most likely thing to happen, first off, is that we won't have very many um, seeds anyway. So it's just going to be fine. The next thing that will happen is that one type of seed will overload compared to the other types of seeds. See what's happening? We've got Inferium Essence and Inferium Seeds. We want the Inferium Essence to go into here. We want the Inferium Seeds to go down there, which means we're going to need some item ducts. Uh, but if we keep filling that thing up, presumably the Inferium Seeds are going to grow more quickly than the Iron Seeds, and therefore the Iron Seeds will eventually lose ground, literally, um, in, in the good old-fashioned evolutionary forest-type way so that we are growing nothing but inferior seeds. That could be okay, because after a while we can just repeat the setup for each type of seed, but we're going to need a bigger greenhouse to deal with all the types of seed that we want, and then we're going to want to do chickens as well, and it's going to be silly. It's going to get a little bit over the top, which is fine, we like over the top, but not today. So, the first thing we're going to do is get some item up. Again. Yeah. Item up. I'd like to make not opaque item ducts, but not just yet. Servo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a servo, which is going to be... We'll probably make a hardened servo, which just requires iron nuggets. Nugs of iron. There we go. Just one will do. Um, and we're going to want to filter the things that go into, excuse me, into it, basically. So let's do this. Uh, bats shape, please. Shape of, form of, bat. The reason we're going to want to make a basement is manifold, one of which is the fact that we're going to want to get into that. Now that we've blocked off all passage to it, we're going to regret having done so. The other reason is not so manifold, but it's still old, which is that... Not, right, we need range upgrades as well, so let's do this. So this, let me just show you, uh, is gathering that square. It's going to be another problem, because if we're only gathering one thingy, which is never being replanted... The planter down there is planting on top of this thing because that's where I put it. So, um, we're going to put iron seeds and inferium seeds in here. We're going to whitelist inferium and... I might as well just break you. But now, you're going to get replanted anyway. Iron seeds. Go. Put this back. Put this back. And then you both can go in here, so we should now not have any in that inventory, which is great. Um, I, for now, want a tier 2 range upgrade, I think. And that seems like the best size. Get some tier 2 range upgrade. Range. Up. Nope. Add. Range add-on. Uh, tier, tier 1 is... Like, each one adds one block to the square that's already been made, so this... Uh, this will add one block to the one that's already been made, so that'd be a 3x3. Three three. This will be a 5x5, five five, which is what we've got, which is lapis. Piss lapis. So this should be fine, so let's go over there. Turn on the um, show working area magic, and then put this are you, in here. Ta-da! That's how much we're going to be harvesting with that one. Turn that off. Nope, turn that off. And then this... How much we're going to be planting. It's just that one block. Everything starts with just one block in this mod, which is fine with me because now... Well, that's not very good, is it? I'll move this. Seems like the sensible thing to do. Might as well just break up all this. I don't... Uh, oop. Whatever. Sort it out. There we go. There we go. That stone flux duck goes there. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Look. I can't pick you up, let's break you. I wonder if you keep your... You don't keep your RF, which is unfair. Mean. I cry, I cry. Shenanigans, I say. How dare you. Ta-da. 
So you should be planting again, except you can't because there's nothing in you and you're only going to be doing the one thing. Uh, this. Have an egg. Why do I have an egg? Shape of me. Uh, so if we, let's put this back on again. It's not. It's too far away. Um, this should be working now because that should be filtering our seeds. Ah, hang on a minute. It's got seeds in it. Where did my iron go? It's not grown. It's not grown yet. Mm. Uh, do, 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 do. So we we'll turn this on, and it will work. Redstone nord. So this is going to pull those out. Yoink. They're going to go into there and show up in a minute. Planted up here. Go. 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 Ah, right. Yes. Oh, no. They go in here. That's fine. This is perfectly fine. So this is the... So I think the machine is facing that way. So that's the top left corner of the interface. That's the middle of the interface, etc., etc. Um, I think the middle uh, wins. So it's going to be a 3x3 three three in the middle. So as we get more seeds, which are going to start being... What did I believe by this? Etc. We're going to end up with sort of a, a net gain of these things. But we also want to make sure that we have a way of getting the rest of the items out of there and into that. Uh, one way we might want to achieve that is probably with the ME cables themselves. How many do we have left? Those. We don't have many left. Oh, God, 75. I made a load. <laughs> I made a heckin' lot of them because I was tired of needing to. Um, let's do this. This. Now, you might be thinking, hey, why don't you just pipe from there into there? Well, for two reasons. First of all, I don't want to have too many things attached to this because then I'm going to have to go behind... Well, there's no reason not to have an access hatch behind there. But secondly, uh, anything that this creates that I didn't think of will go into the ME system anyway and just not get exported back into these things. Because I'm importing things, I'm going to import things and they will just immediately get stored in here because that's the way this storage bus works. They don't go into the system and then out again. This is the system. So we just need uh, an import bus and it will import them directly from there into there via the controller, which is in a silly place, but that's okay. Um, let's make an import bus then. Import bus. Import bus. Uh, computer, please. This one. Oh. <laughs> uh, one sticky piston, please. Then. I like the idea that it's a sticky piston with a dematerializer item on it. Um, and like an annihilation core attached to a sticky piston. And therefore, it works because the sticky piston like, pokes the annihilation core into a machine, which zaps an item. That was really fast. Must have had the bits. Um, then we want... Uh, in... I like the implication that it's like zapping itself through the walls of machines. So... The problem here is, which one will win? Hmm. Because this... So that's the important note, and this should be going up. See that? And this has also gone up by a couple. In fact, it literally did it while we watched. So now we've got iron seeds and inferium seeds all over here. So iron is being put in the middle. Yeah? And the reason for that... Let's go back into four more back. The reason it's doing that... Is that it doesn't really care where the things are landing at the moment. So, if I have Inferium Seeds, if Inferium Seeds come out here, they go into here, they take up this slot. This is then going to try and sow them in that slot, which is going to be these three things. If there is something in these three things, it's not going to manage it, so it's just going to sit there. When this reaches a stack, it'll start filling up this slot with Inferium Seeds, but before that happens, it's quite likely that what we'll actually get is an Iron Seed, so an Iron Seed will come and fill in the next one. That would have been put in there, which represents presumably these th four blocks in a sort of Tetris shape. One, two, three, four. Um, which is why it's there. As we get more and more things, and that does actually start filling up with stacks of things. 
we're, the, the speed with which we're creating Inferium seeds is going to overtake the speed with which we're creating Iron seeds, and eventually this will fill up with stacks of Inferium seeds and not have any Iron seeds in it. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that at some point in the future we come along mm. and uh, uh, lock the inventory like this, which will stop things going into it if it's not allowed in it. If I do this now, nothing will arrive in it. If I put Inferium seeds here and Iron seeds here and etc., it will allow them in where they can go. At which point, we're going to have to wonder, are you going to, A, start importing things before you can extract them? So there's a race condition here. Which one is going to start? Which one's going to win? Well, we could have an export bus down here. Would that be another channel? Um, or what we could do is have... Do you know what? I just thought of a better idea. I don't want to do this at all. <laughs> I just... What you were saying before, dear reader, is exactly what I'm now going to do. You said, why don't you use uh, the pipe conduits? And I said, but sir, you speak in preposterities. Excuse me, Ken. No one invited you. Uh, and then you said, that's not a word. And I said, oh, it is now. And then you said, get on with it. People are watching, and then I said, What I'm gonna do is run the pipe this way. Here's the pipe, which I got rid of. <laughs> this is why we need a basement. I've capitulated, already making the basement. Fine. Um, Put this. Oh, oh, it's a bat basement, okay? A belfry, a mini belfry. Stacks, and then give me my item. You see, there's faster versions of these, which we're going to want to make eventually. Just to get things going. Uh, and obviously, I don't know if it's obvious. I said obviously because I needed the word to fill in, but it seems a little bit rude and dismissive of your intelligence and um, possibly just general demeanor. Um, it's the sort of thing I do in Zen Minecraft is to fix up these things and sort of improve things generally and then go resource gathering because we never have enough resources. Uh, don't mm. attach to here or here, please. Right, so instead of... Oh, no, we don't need this. But thanks for just dropping it on the ground when I just turned out of bat form. Great. There we go. And go. And then... Cute. So this is going to pull everything out, irrespective of what it is. Um, do I have my watering can handy? I might be able to show you. And something I might be doing in Zen Minecraft is um, literally just standing there for a long time with the watering can. I have a feeling that this sort of thing is going to be an occasional let's come back to that jobby, because I don't want to stand here for 20 minutes on camera with the watering can, but uh, I, damn it, I will if I have to. Oops. So I accidentally did that, so let's try not to do that. Um, I want to see you do it. There we go. So you picked it up. That should be going into there, and then this should go up by one when it gets there. Time. Which is why we want to get a little bit, maybe a little bit faster of the item duck thing is going on. But if you used ME, it would instantly import, but it would cost a channel. I don't know if I'm ready to cost a channel. The reason this works, by the way, it does work. I don't know. Could be taking its sweet time. You in here? You are in here. We did need the servo, you pillock. You just don't want the blacklist. Yeah? So you're going to end up with one more in you when that gets there. The way the item ducks work is that they will go into the, sh the closest inventory that will accept the item. And if there is no inventory that will accept the item, it won't enter the system in the first place, which is kind of smart. I like that. So what we've done is we've made the um, planter there be a closer inventory than the, the drawers. But the, uh, the planter down there, I believe, yeah, won't accept the actual inferior essence, but it will accept the seeds. So... When we finally fill up of seeds, they're going to bypass that inventory as well and start filling up this stack, which can contain 30, uh, this barrel, which can contain 32 more stacks of the damn things. So we're going to have plenty of seeds at some point. 
I'm sure. And there's another way of doing this with machines, but I'm not going to get into that because that's boring and compact. We don't want boring and compact. We want a big, wide, open area full of cheap and fun. So we could probably do the same thing over here, actually. Might be a good idea. So maybe off camera I'll do that because that seems a little bit uninteresting. I don't really like this, so you can go away. But this could probably be uh, this could probably be be, be, be be used to generate a lot of one thing, like for example the iron seeds, right? If we have a lot of iron coming in, or not much iron coming in, or, or whichever way we want to do it, we could put that in the incubator because the incub this this um cloche here, I could just put it here, right? Isn't that nice. How tall are you? Very tall. Suit yourself. Um, you take power, etc. So I can hook you up and all that good job. Um, I haven't got a power thing. And then we could just put one thing in there and try and get more of it. Or we could... Not. <laughs> Maybe we dedicate this to one thing. I don't know. Are you going to hook up? No. Oh, that worked. Ta-da! So that's the general gist of that sort of thing. If we put anything at all in here with the right um, mulch, i.e. dirt inside it, right dirt or dirt equivalent, then we can uh, we can also hook that up to the same network. So if we put another one of those onto the front of that, we'll end up with the same sort of jobby. All good. So now this has got power, it needs water, we have a sink. And all that sort of stuff. You get the idea. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I hope uh, that this is not too dreary. Uh, I'll probably start doing something else next episode because in between them is then Minecraft time. So we will... Also, I should put a fence around these because things keep hurting themselves. It's not fair. Poor chickens, etc. Uh, I'll have a look into which mods we can make a start on and start expanding all these other mods. Um, and probably just mining off camera in between time. So until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.